Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders board. Coming up here on today's show are day two draft grades. We're going to go over the Michael Mayer pick, the Byron Young and Trey Tucker pick. I'm going to give you all three grades on that and my overall grade from today. Would not have been able to do today's show if it wasn't for our awesome sponsor, Manscaped. Head on over to manscaped.com, use code Raiders for 20% off and free shipping on the best male grooming products out there. Seriously, go check it out. We love y'all. So coming up right now here on the Raiders Report, our draft grades from round two and round three. Entering today, the silver and black had three picks. Leaving today, they made three picks. However, picks are a little bit different. They had 38, 70, and 100. Today, they traded up at 35. They still have pick 70. They still have pick 100. But when they traded up to select tight end from Michael or tight end from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer, they gave up pick 141 in round five. Overall, for those that watched the video live, I like Michael Mayer. He was my number one overall tight end. I think he is a hell of a player. They have nicknamed him Baby Gronk, and that was way before you know McDaniels ever drafted him. He's a good blocker. He's a hell of a pass catcher. I had him as a top 20 overall prospect. Tom Downey, our NFL draft guru here, had him in his top 10. Had him as the number one tight end. Had him at the number nine overall player on the board. The Raiders got him at 35. He was the third tight end taken, but it's good value. Six foot four, 250 pounds. He is a do-it-all tight end. He is going to play over O.J. Howard. He is going to be next to the Raiders tight end Austin Hooper I just couldn't think of his name there for a second who the Raiders signed this offseason Jimmy Garoppolo loves the tight end giggity on top of that though if you do decide to bring in a young player in next season at quarterback a lot of times you see their best friend is a tight end so in terms of a grade for Michael Mayer here at pick 35 I gave it an A minus I'm going to tell you right now, I am a more difficult grader. I'm not your high school teacher that gives B's and A's to everyone. No. A is great. B is good. C is average. D is bad. F, I just think you really F and failed on that one. So Michael Mayer, love the player. Great, great value. Was it a big-time team need? It was a need, but there were other players on the board that I thought felt that filled bigger needs. So for that reason, it's an A minus grade. I'll get into some of the other grades here in just a second. But remember, I want you all to join us for our day three coverage of the 2023 NFL Draft. We're going to get the picks before you see them on television. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. That way you never miss a thing. So as it stands right now, the Las Vegas Raiders, they have selected Tyree Wilson, who I gave a B plus to. Michael Mayer, who I gave an A minus to. And at this point... Not going to lie, I was feeling pretty good about what the Raiders were doing. And then in round three, the Las Vegas Raiders take Byron Young, defensive tackle out of Alabama. I have had Byron Young in a few of my mock drafts. However, he was a little bit later of a pick. And I still think that this was a slight reach for the silver and black. He is a player who's got a ton of motor. He fills a big need. He's an undersized defensive tackle. But if you're looking for somebody who's going to go out there and give every single thing he's got in terms of snaps, reps, you're going to love him. Coaches, Nick Saban speaks very highly of him. He's a leader in the locker room. Six foot three, 295 pounds, senior out of the Crimson Tide at 22 years old. According to Tom Downey, had him ranked as the ninth defensive lineman, overall 95. So it was a little bit of a reach, and I agree with that. I had him outside of my top 100 there were definitely players that I wish the Raiders would have gone a little bit, I guess, better with. However, it is what it is. Byron Young looking young. And if you want to look young downstairs, remember, today's show is sponsored by Manscaped. Use code Raiders at Manscaped.com. That link's going to be available for you guys down in the comments and in the description of today's show. Now, some of y'all are like, all right, I'm all about the D. I get it. On draft grades, I ain't about the D. If you want to turn your F... And do an A-plus, you got to get your hands on all of the Manscaped products, whether it be the Lawnmower 4.0, whether it's the Weed Whacker, whether it's the Ball Toner, the Ball Deodorant. I want y'all to be the top prospect that you can be. I want you to be your girl's number one overall pick. And if there's ladies out there and you're looking at a draft bust, 
Turn him into a first-round pick with Manscaped right now. Whether it's shower supplies, whether it's the regular deodorant, the ball deodorant, the lawnmower 4.0. If you can't get it in and you use Manscaped, I think it's just on you at that point, man. So again, use code Raiders at Manscaped.com. Please do it. Ryan said, hey, he used the weed whacker. So my Byron Young grade is a C plus. It was an average pick. It's an average player, however, however, I still think he might be one of the better defensive tackles on this Raiders team, which, you know, maybe doesn't say a lot about the Raiders defensive line, but it was a need. So because it's a need, because he's a good player, it's a C plus. It's an average pick. A slightly above average pick because it does fill a big time need. When you look at the Raiders defensive tackle group, Bilal Nichols is the top guy. I don't have a lot of confidence in Neil Farrell Jr. or Matthew Butler. Honestly, man, he, Jenkins is a sneaky player to be the second best, second best DT. I will say that I do think that Byron is a better DT than Jerry Tillery. But again, that's not really you know saying a lot. So, in terms of the overall NFL draft where certain things fell... Tank Dell went at 69, shout out to Manscaped. And then Byron Young goes off the board here at 70. And, you know, a few picks here and there, a few good linebackers go off the board. The, the top pick that Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler are going to have to answer to is they went with another wide receiver. I mean, this draft was supposed to be defense. You got four picks right now. You went two offensive players and two defensive players. You still need a linebacker. You still need a corner. Like, there were still players on the board that you could have gone with, but for you to go with Trey Tucker, I get it. He is an electric player. He brings you special teams ability. Sure. Five foot eight, 182 pounds. Tom Downey had him ranked as his 24th wide receiver. 186 overall. We have a basically a late fifth round grade on Trey Tucker. When I saw this pick go down, I'm telling you right now, this is screaming to me, and I mean screaming to me, that Hunter Renfro, if you got a Hunter Renfro jersey, you better get rid of it now because he's a goner. The Raiders signed DeAndre Carter. I, Renfro's gone. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow on day three, but it's going to be after June 1st. Guarantee that. I I am so willing to bet on the fact that because the Raiders made this pick, the only way that the Trey Tucker move makes any sense whatsoever is if you trade Hunter Renfro. Slot receiver, good straight line speed, but that's not what the Las Vegas Raiders needed. If you move on from Renfro after June 1st, you will be able to save about $11 million in total, which sure, that, you know, that's probably going to help you be able to go out there and add some extra talent. Last season with the Bearcats, 52 grabs, 672 yards, three touchdowns, had an average catch of 12.9. I don't mean to rip on this young man because he is making more money than he thought, and this is the best day of his life getting drafted in the NFL. However, my job here as the Raiders Report host is to give you the truth and what I feel for the silver and black. And I'm sorry. This is not a good pick by the Raiders. And for that reason, considering the fact that corner was a need, considering the fact that linebacker was a need, considering the fact that the Raiders could have traded up to get some better players or you could have just taken somebody a little bit better that would have been able to help out your roster right away. For all of those reasons here, I just, I don't get it. My question before I give my grade, are you mad that the Raiders didn't select a linebacker or corner on day two? Give me a yes, give me a no. I'll still admit, Keely Ringo, still available. Ivan Pace Jr., still available. I mean, maybe you're able to get one of those two guys I, I still think you would have been able to get, though, Trey Tucker probably in round in round five. But you know what? It is what it is. So give me a yes, give me a no. I'll tell you this. I'm very, very unhappy with the Raiders right now. So my grade for Trey Tucker. It sucks that I got to do this, but I'm going to give it an F. It's a fail. Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler failed this one. If there was one position that I thought you did not need to address in the NFL draft, it was wide receiver. And you took a wide receiver with a top 100 pick. Essentially, the Raiders traded away Darren Waller for Trey Tucker. I, I, I'm trying to be as positive as I can here. It just, it will not make sense to me. I mean, Ziegler and McDaniels are going to have to explain this one. And I think what they're going to do is, the explanation is that they're going to trade away Hunter Renfro. 
So be ready for that news to break. And when the Renfro news does break, that Las Vegas trades them away. We'll be live or we will go live. We'll break down the news. But Trey Tucker and with the moves that this team made in the offseason, I'm telling you right now, Hunter Renfro will not be a Raider come the 2020-2023 season. Lock and loaded in right now. So overall, my grades, Michael Mayer, A-, minus, C plus for Byron Jones, F for Trey Tucker. My day two draft grade is this. Overall, it's a C plus. It was good. Wasn't great. Do I love the Michael Mayer pick? Hell yes, I do. Is Byron Young a needed defensive tackle? Yes. But... You, you really are putting Raider Nation on a cliffhanger because going into the... You made your first two picks. I was all on board on what McDaniels and Ziegler were selling. Now I'm not as much on board. I'm worried of what this Raiders organization is doing. I am curious to see what how they try to tackle tomorrow because tomorrow they got seven picks. You got 109. You traded away 141. So that means you got 109, 144, 174, 204, 214, 230, and then 231. You got seven picks, and you got to fix your defense because realistically, I wanted at least three starting caliber players on defense. You have one, and his name's Tyree Wilson, and it really wasn't all that big of a need. So in terms of some of the best players available still on the board, Clark Phillips, Cornerback out of Utah would have been a much better pick. Kelly Ringo, Dewan Jones, a lot of vowels from Northwestern. Tyler Scott, wide receiver from Cincinnati. That's the thing. That's the Tucker guy. Wasn't even the best wide receiver on his team. Antonio Johnson, Darius Rush, A.T. Perry. Corey Trice Jr. is a name to keep in mind. Trey Tomlinson from TCU. What about J.L. Skinner? I like him as a safety prospect, but he's not going to be able to play this season, I don't think, because he's got a torn uh, peck. Ivan Pace Jr., uh, definitely another name to keep in mind. We'll see what the Raiders decide to do. Also, Raiders defensive coordinator Patrick Graham coached Trey Tucker at the national team at the Senior Bowl. So, could have been a reason why the Raiders decided to go with him. If you want to stay up to date on everything going on around the Las Vegas Raiders, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Because I can promise you this, Jeremy Chuggs and I will keep you up to date. So, I mean, we've been tweeting out the picks before. I've been posting videos, how I feel. I uh, I don't know. I don't know what to feel. I see Stoffel the Badger has a lot of loss for words. Those are my day two draft grades. Hopefully you tune in tomorrow for our live coverage of the 2023 NFL Draft. Day three picks, seven picks, round four, five, six, and seven here on the Raiders Report.